Hello guys, Mike Martin here. Right, today I'm going to run through a complete basic build using Spintech with you with the uh, Magic Page plugin. So, this is a site I've just received from uh, Rowan on my Facebook group. He builds these for $30. They come with three services pages and a bit of content and a bit of content down the bottom here. And then all, the, all I do is install my own Magic Page. <clears throat> but if I go into the pages, it comes with four pages and a page of 500 words worth of content for my magic page. Now, I've pre-spun this to, for the video, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. Right, so you've installed magic page and you've installed the databases you want to use. <clears throat> Your next step is to go here and go to add new. So you add new, in fact, just one second, you click on that one there and ignore that you can actually so you click the magic page tab it'll take you to this page here then you just add new like you would with any normal page or post so you sat here click the magic page tab come to here add new okay so it opens up like any other page okay so the way I always start is content section I get the content that I receive written for me I throw it through spin rewriter with a few settings um, and it comes out looking like this. So here's my spun content. So I'll throw in spun content straight into the page. <coughs> and it'll pop up looking something like this. Right, my next step would be to include a view location. Tags in there, in the areas where, so domestic, location roofing. Go over to visual. Number three. And maybe put a location tag on the end of that one. And maybe at the beginning of that one it's done for me there. Okay, so you get your three main areas. Next step <coughs> is to set your radius location. So you go up to the top right hand side here. And you start typing a location and it will populate with those locations select the one that you want and it will automatically pull in the radius here based on your settings so in your settings if you set your standard radius and I'd leave the standard radius to a thousand miles on, on all sites then literally just if you don't want it to be a thousand miles change it to 50 in here or something like that but I'm gonna keep it to a thousand miles And then I'm going to click, simply click publish. Now I always publish early because what I'll get is a little number here, 61, rather than it saying spin tax title or whatever crap that you put in here, it'll just pull in as number 61. Right, so this is my spun content. I've added it to my site. My next step is to come down to the bottom and consider, okay, meta information. So what I do is I come to the next bottom step and I use the spin text short code. So I add a new spin text short code. I call it title. And then I'll add five variations in there, minimum. I'd normally add 10, but for the video, I'm gonna do five variations of spun content. And then what I want is five different spun titles in here. Here's one I wrote earlier. So at the top, I've got my roofing spun title. So what I'll do is I'll select, copy that one. <coughs> copy that one. Okay, and then we click save. We've now saved this button text circle and let's just update the page to make sure it, it sticks. Then what I would tend to do is come down the page and grab my new title tag, which has got all the spun stuff in. I'll go to here, social, pop my title tag in there, stick my meta title in there, shoot up the page and put meta title tag at the top of this here. And then I would probably drop down here because we've already set the three H3s. That'll be a H1 at the top. So we'll just pop this in as a H2 and update the page. <coughs> so that quickly, after throwing in your spun content, slapping in a few title tags, you've got quite a decent section of the page built already, as you'll see. So we've got the 
this is your spun title tag here, your spun title tag here, it'll also be pulled in up there, spun title tag, and there's all your spun content that, that we've had thingied. Remember you put the map and the cities tab at the bottom which was inside my content, so if I just show you, it pulls this section in at the bottom, <coughs> there, map and cities, you need the cities on every page, I've stated this on loads of videos, that has to be there, that generates your endless site map, so literally that keeps pulling in the 10 closest locations for you. Right, next step, I'll think about the description. So I'll go down to my new spin tag chart code again. Call this one description. <coughs> and add maybe two or three of these. Go over to one I wrote earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. Paste that in. And all this is, is a normal description. <coughs> Chuck through a spinner. And then obviously we can use two, three, four different spins with, with Magic Page plugin. And let's save. <coughs> so we've got that, copy that. Um, we're gonna pop our description in. Oh, where are we going? SEO's closed for some reason. I'll put one in there and one in there. Then you can leave keywords out, you don't necessarily need them. You want a price range for your schema, so you need to put that in. I'll put a phone number in, I'll put an email in. You want all these including for your schema, so do put them in. <coughs> Okie dokie, that's our description bit done. So we can update again. Okay, so as you can see, it's been a real quick video so far, and the page is almost ready. The only thing we're missing is a little SEO image down here, which you browse an image, pull your logo in, or whatever you want, pop your image in there. That will help for scheming. It'll stop there being any thingies. That is the page pretty much done, but obviously we want it to look a little bit prettier, so what you do is you're going to add some media. Add new media. Let's find a square picture. <coughs> Let's float that to the right. Insert and then I really don't take too much of pay much too much attention to what actually goes into these. So you want your alt text in there. Let's throw the spin text description in there. And we'll come down to the bottom and let's grab the spin text title. And when you put in your media, if I put that in there, that's gonna break the whole page. You want to make sure you're not inside the curly brackets when adding your media. So I'm gonna add a second image. Let's put it in here. Add media, let's grab that one. Make it left, <coughs> excuse me. And again, just make sure you add your alt text in. This time I'm just gonna add the spun text title in there. Now, this is a basic build, but as you're gonna see in a second, this is <coughs> not a bad looking build when it's finished. So that's it, that's the page done with all the spin taxes, thousands of different variations. We're going to view the magic page, <coughs> excuse me. And as you can see, looks all right, pulls in the 10 closest locations. So on and so forth. Next step is to look at where we want to target. So well, I've said to many people, obviously, choose your 10 um, or to choose five major cities to target for the home page because what will happen is they'll be listed, say, here, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and then the 10 closest locations to them will be listed here. And then as you click onto one of them, the next 10 closest locations to that will be listed and listed and listed. So what happens is it works like a giant pyramid shape of links from each of the sections that you're adding on there. And I'll show you how to do that now. So the way we're gonna add these is we're gonna go back to your dashboard. You can wave over magic page and click on locations. <coughs> okay, so a major city we want. I'm gonna go for Manchester, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna search locations for Manchester. Okay, okay. Now, if this is outside of the radius that's set on the page, when you go to view this, you're gonna get a 404 error. But if it's inside the radius, which it is inside mine, because I know that when I click view, I'm gonna see the page for that particular one. And up here, we've got the URL. So if I select that, I'm gonna say, okay, I want the Manchester page in my menu. So now I'm gonna to go to my menu. <coughs> Here's your menu, and you wanna click on custom link. So I'm gonna add the Manchester one, and as you can see, it's got Manchester in the URL there. So when we viewed the full URL before, you could see it was roof forward slash Manchester forward slash. And then I'm just gonna type the word Manchester in there. <coughs> now I want five of these, so what I'm gonna do is, rather than messing around going and doing them all, I'll have Glasgow, 
I know what cities I want, so I'm just going to do it like this and show you how to check that they're correct at the end. I'm going to want Douglas from the Isle of Man. Now, the reason I'm adding Douglas is I know that there is a huge water gap between any locations on, on land, mainland, uh, going over to the Isle of Man. So, what I'll do is I'll add one in, in the top here because it's never going to be, and again, Belfast. Belfast is obviously across the water, so it's never going to be one of the 10 closest locations to the page. So, there's no way Google can actually find it unless you have it um, in a link somewhere that so, so Google can find it or unless you submit that page and then it'll run through and find them all but literally it needs to be able to be found by Google so because there's a big water gap and the city's location will never be close that wouldn't pull in so what have we got there do, 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 do. okay let's put one more in there so we've got Manchester, Glasgow, Douglas, Belfast let's stick Liverpool in Okay, so I've got five locations. I'm gonna put them as submenus and I'm gonna put them in alphabetical order. I'm just gonna turn the volume off that phone. And then we're just gonna pull these in. And they'll go now, save menu. So you've just created your menu with your five major cities. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the home page and you wanna click on each major city. Now, as you could see from where we just were, on the locations tab because I've set the radius and pulled in all the locations I want I've just built a 48,000 page website so every single one of these all 40,000 areas 48,000 areas are going to be pulled in using the cities tab and obviously these five locations we've set here so what I'll do now is I'll go to Belfast <coughs> and I'll fly down to the map on the page and the map and there we go. So I can see Northern Ireland there. So I know that's the correct one. Douglas. Now I know why the Douglas and the Isle of Man is on a, um, it's on like a coast. So shoot down to the map. It's loading slow for some reason. There we go. So that's not the right area. Let me have a look. Let me see where we are. Okay, so that's somewhere in Scotland. <coughs> so we know Douglas is incorrect. Okay, so we've got one incorrect one there. Let's go to the next one, Glasgow. Glasgow's correct. Liverpool. My internet's running a little bit slow at the minute. That's why the maps are loading up slowly. I know it's the right one because I could see talk stuff and that there, but there's Liverpool. It's the one that I want. And then obviously the last one I'll just check. So which literally run through all five and make sure they're the correct locations. And then we know that Douglas was, was not the Douglas in the Isle of Man. Um, I know that that's Manchester because I live there. So Douglas was the incorrect one. So then what I'll do is I'll go back up here to my dashboard and I'll go back to locations and I'll type in the word Douglas. <clears throat> and search locations. Okay, so that's the Douglas I've just used because I, put, I typed in the word Douglas into the URL. This is actually the slug for the end of the URL. So the only other Douglas it can be, because there's Castle Douglas, Craig Douglas, that's not the ones I'm, I'm looking for somewhere called Douglas. So what I do is I can grab that, copy it, and that's Douglas-2. Now if I view that just to make sure, click the view button, it'll take you to the page with the correct URL. As you can see in the URL, it says Douglas-2 up there, and that's why it's important that your permalinks are set to uh, post name. So, Roofer, Roofers and Roofer Douglas. Come down, there we go. As you can see, that's the right one. I know that Douglas Isle of Man is on the coast, so I know I've got the correct one. So then what I'll do is go back up to my menu, go down to the Douglas one here, and where it says Douglas in that part of the menu, you just replace that with Douglas hyphen two, and then click save menu, and then you've got your Douglas. Sorry, you've got your menu with five areas. So we'll go back over here and click on Douglas, and what you will see is it's now the correct major city that you're looking for. Boom! We've now got the correct major city, and it really is that simple. So basically, everything I've just took you through is adding your content, adding your spin text, adding everything else. 
and you th at that point you have now just built a 48,000 page website obviously if, if you're only installing California or if you're only installing a smaller location it'll be a seven or eight thousand page website but there's no additional work involved in building a 50,000 page or a, or a 100 page website with the magic page all of these generate the links throughout here now if you want to find out all of your URLs you can do that pretty easily with Screaming Frog or beamersup.com um, but to be honest we recommend submitting these five cities to be indexed and, I'll, and giving it a bit of time or alternatively using the one I use which is Ghost Indexer and as you can see there's a load of <laughs> campaigns running there from very very recent um, so that's what we recommend um, I hope this video will help you guys anyone else wants to reach out or ask any questions let me know thanks bye bye